Hello and welcome to Elizabeth's Craft Room and woohoo the time is here for Celebration 2017. Um, for those who don't know, instead of a sale with Stampin' Up! we have a celebration that lasts for three whole months, January to March, and we have all sorts of goodies that you can receive completely free when you place a qualifying purchase of £45. There are some lovely things. Look, you can get a tin. There are some absolutely lovely things in here um, and some beautiful projects that can be made with them. And to inspire you, we also have the Spring Summer Catalogue. And here's my absolute favourite. A die to make little hexagon boxes. And big hexagon boxes as well. You can make tall ones too. Um, there are so many things that you can do with this die. Um, can you believe you can also make a card like this? Can you see how that would work? So there's just so much I want to show you. We have little t-shirts, men's t-shirts and ladies t-shirts. And talking of men, we have fantastic tool sets. I just love them. Absolutely love them. We have some really pretty embossing folders that actually are debossing folders that you can do these effects with. And look at those dies for tags. Aren't they cute? But my absolute favourite are the dragonflies. There are stamps and dies and you can make some absolutely beautiful projects with them. Coordinating with stamps that I bet you already have in your, um, in your set or just on their own and with some lovely paper. So I'm going to start off um, and just show you how to make um, this project here. So we'll get started. So over Christmas, we used these little um, boxes, the which you can just fold and put together um, to do all sorts of projects. So these have carried over. And so we're going to use one of those. Now, really simple to do because you literally just fold and pop these pieces together. So I'm just going to reinforce all those fold lines first um, but before we put it together I'm going to stick the paper on it so we're going to use Tombow glue now let me talk to you about this paper it's from our falling in love suite which is on page 51 of the catalog and this paper is called the falling in love designer paper but that little picture does not do it justice let me try and show you the 12 by 12 sheets, so you get two each of these double-sided papers. How beautiful are these? They've got a kind of a bokeh look, if you're familiar with that technique, on some of the pages. But absolutely all of them are just stunning. This one is almost like um, photographic. And then you've got some that are just a design. We've seen that one. Uh, yep, a similar one. So you can just see how beautiful, look at that lace one, how beautiful these are. So we've act I've actually gone for this bluey kind of bokeh look um, one and we're just going to pop that on to all of the panels. And doesn't it just look like the light is reflecting off there? It just is stunning. Now, the, um, the box itself um, is three by three of the squares, three inches by three inches. So I have cut this at um, two and three quarters by two and three quarter inches. Now, did you see I avoided putting any glue on the top there? That's because in a moment I'm going to get a punch and remake that little hole to make the box easy to open. So let's get that now. 
So I'm going to use this three quarter inch circle punch and just pop that in. Ooh, let's get it lined up so that it is in the middle. And that'll just remake that little, uh, that little hole. So to assemble this, you're going to put the side pieces in first, then this piece here with the little cutout, and then finally the tab piece. And you're going to pop that down. And that's going to go through there, press down underneath, and there's our box assembled. Super cute already, but it gets better than that because it actually comes... Um, with one of these little outer pieces. You just need to fold, um, just reinforce the, the score lines that are on there. It has got an overlap, so that needs to go, the overlap piece needs to go, whoops, at the back and the bottom of the box, ideally. And that just slides in, so back and bottom. There you go, and that's beautiful, isn't it? So we now need to do the decoration on the top. So let's bring in the dies. Now the dies that we're using, there is the matching stamp set, look you get bees as well, beautiful greetings in there. It's on page 26 of the Spring Summer Catalogue and there is a bundle that includes the dies as well. Now let me show you the dies. Aren't these lovely? So the one we're using is not even the biggest one. That is the one that we're going to use, but you can see there are there is a huge dragonfly die there as well. There are these little ones, which you can use um, individually just by snipping them, by, cu by cutting them and snipping them. We've got one for the bee as well, and we've got an outline so you can do a backing and you can also cut out the stamped images. But we're going to use this one, so let's bring in the big shot. Now I'm going to use glimmer paper. I used gold glimmer on this one, but I'm going to try um, the Dazzling Diamonds glimmer paper. Now ideally with um, Dazzling Diamonds with glimmer, you should cut these upside down, which is absolutely fine for this one. Um, if you're The only exception is if you're doing words or letters, of course they would be back to front, so... Um, but it's better for the blades to do these upside down rather than right way up. So that's what we'll do. And to make this super easy, I'm just going to take my foam mat. And you can see how easy it is actually. And a little brush and just take those little extra pieces out. Isn't that beautiful? Let's bring our box back in. Now I'm going to stick this with glue dots and I'm going to start off putting some glue dots onto the back of the dragonfly there. And let's give that little bit of dimension, just pull his wings up a little bit. There we go. Look at that sparkle on there and to give it a little bit of extra on the top I'm also going to put some ribbon. Um, the ribbon I'm using here is the um, the satin. Um, we do it, it's a nine meter ribbon. Um, we do it in several colours but I'm doing it here in the, I think it's pool party rather than soft sky. Here's my ribbon scissors, here we go. So I'm going to just do a little blue bow and then I'm just going to take a little snip of the, um, I think that's pink pirouette ribbon and a bit of twine, we're using white and again the pink pirouette. And I'm going to just tie those together. so and you can do a little bow or for the purposes of this video I'm going to do a little knot and just bring all of those pieces together trim that down just a little and it 
just gives a little extra something on the top and again a glue dot is the best way to go to stick that onto the glimmer. There we go. And then a little greeting on the front. And so for the greeting um, I'm actually using the stamp set that goes with this, Dragonfly Dreams. And I'm going to use Enjoy Your Special Day. And just ink that up. And we're just going to layer this up. A bit of sparkle. And Tombow glue doesn't really like sticking on the um, on the glimmer, so I shall use a couple of dimensionals to pop that up, and then we'll pop this on the front of the box. Put a little bit of Tombow glue there, and because this is on the slider, this whole piece will come off without damaging the box to get the, the goodies that you've put in there. So, which one do you think you prefer? I do think I prefer my original gold one, but let me know which one you like. Um, all the goodies that you've seen today, if you look on my blog post, are down at the bottom. If you're on YouTube, go and have a look at my blog post. And we have lots more ideas and things over on my blog. Thanks for visiting Elizabeth's Craft Room today and I look forward to welcoming you back again soon.